Frogs and their life cycle. What comes to your mind when you hear the word amphibian? Frogs, right? Frogs can live both on land and in fresh water. They belong to class Amphibia or Phylum Chordata. The most common species of frog found in India is Rana tigrina. Frogs are cold-blooded or poikilotherms because they change their body temperature with the environment. The skin of a frog is smooth and slippery due to the presence of mucus. The color of the dorsal side of the body is generally olive green with dark irregular spots. While on the ventral side, the skin is uniformly pale yellow. The frog never drinks water but absorbs it through the skin. The body of a frog is divisible into head and trunk. The neck and tail are absent. Above the mouth, a pair of nostrils is present. Eyes of a frog are bulged and covered by a nictitating membrane that protects them while in water. On either side of eyes, a membranous tympanum or ear receives sound signals. The forelimbs and the hind limbs of a frog help in swimming, walking, leaping and burrowing. The hind limbs end in five digits and they are larger and muscular than forelimbs that end in four digits. Its feet have web digits that help in swimming. Frogs exhibit sexual dimorphism. Male frogs can be distinguished by the copulatory pad on the first digit of the forelimbs which are absent in female frogs. Let's move on to learn about the life cycle of a frog. All frogs reproduce sexually and all hatch from eggs. In almost all frogs, the first stage of the life cycle begins by laying of eggs in or near water by a female frog. A frog can lay up to thousands of eggs at once in large groups. They are covered in jelly which makes them slippery. The jelly protects them from getting eaten by other animals. In the second step, these eggs are externally fertilized by sperms by a male frog. After fertilization, a zygote is formed and embryonic development happens. After development, a tadpole hatches from the egg. A tadpole breathes using gills and moves like a fish using its long tail to swim. Tadpoles eat tiny water plants. In the next step, tadpoles grow to form froglets. Its grooves disappear. Its tail gets shorter until it disappears too. The froglet swims up to the top of the water to breathe air. The final stage is adult stage. A frog can leave the water now and live on land. It eats insects, worms and snails. After maturity, the mother frog returns to the water to lay eggs, thus starting the life cycle again. Let's solve some questions from the medical entrance exam based on frogs. Question 1. Capulatory pads are present in Number 1. Male frog Number 2. Female frog Number 3. Both male and female Number 4. Froglets This question was asked in AFMC 2010. Solution. Male frogs can be distinguished by the capillary pad on the first digit of the forelimbs which are absent in female frogs. Hence, option 1 is correct. Question 2. Fertilization in frog is Number 1. Internal Number 2. External Number 3. Both external and internal Number 4. Absent This question was asked in Kerala PMT 2012. Solution. Fertilization in frogs takes place outside the female body, called external fertilization. Hence, option 2 is correct. This concludes our video on frog. Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.